So at the moment, this is my Raspberry Pi setup. As you can see, sitting on top of an Xbox, and that is just not going to work because sooner or later it's going to blow up. So, what I really want to do is install it into this a Super VHS 8 case. So, this is it sitting on top of the case at the moment before I begin. And as you can see, it's it kind of sits in okay. If I close the lid, it's not going to close completely because the composite has to come through the rear of the case, as is the audio. But if I make the right connections, I should be able to get the input output pins and all exposed and the composite all the way through and mark out the holes then for everything else and it'll sit inside quite nicely so the first thing I want to do is mark here and here uh, with a some kind of a cutter and snip I'm going to cut out a small section over here so that the composite block can go all the way in as you see there popping on the top of the Super 8 case um, once I have that done right, this will go all the way in to the end and then you can see the hole at the front here and then here wherever the markings are for the, uh, the, the head of the composite has to come through and that should give me plenty of space then at the back to be able to close the lid and it all together and mark out the rest. So as you can see there I've marked out roughly where I need to slice um, so I'm going to do that now and then hopefully I'll be able to drill the hole at the front. So I've marked up the section on the case where I need to take out. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. As you can see it there. And get my tools together now. So I've marked out the section that I need to slice on the composite. So I'll get the tools together now and I'll chop this out and see then can I mount it properly inside. And if all goes well, that then this old relic of a case should be good for something after all. So as you can see, I put the Raspberry Pi, I cut out the holes. I also used a drill bit to drill the audio hole as you can see. Uh, here, um, I used the number, sorry, number eight drill bit, <coughs> uh, wood drill bit, as you can see here, it has a, uh, sorry, it has a pointy end on it, you can still see a bit of the case on it, so I used that to go through the casing, I'm not going to make any excuses for my woodworking skills or cutting skills, and as you can see, the Raspberry Pi fits into that quite snugly. So the next thing I'm going to do is take off the cover here over the input-output settings. So I have access to them at all times when the lid is actually on the case. And I'll use the bottom half of the case then to mark out the USB headers network port, USB port, etc. And I also have to leave a space for the SD card slot to go in there. So it should be a nice little thing when it's finished. Uh, done on the cheap, so I don't have to go to Maplin or any of them places to buy a case. So, just a quick update. I cut out the parts here, the hole and the here to cut the, the square I marked it out used the hacksaw to cut down and heated the plastic then a small bit so I could bend out and break out the um, the small square um, I will clean up the mess that is left eventually. and on the other case the other half of the super eight case I had to cut a small chunk out of the top of it so that the pie would actually Accommodate the rest of the composite. 
decomposite um, block. So my next thing I have to do now is I have to mark out, sorry about the shaky camera, I have to mark out where the USBs and the Cat5 port is going to be as well as the the uh, USB port and the SD card slot and the HDMI. So it's a good bit to go yet. So uh, I'll show you all them marked out when I have them done. So for the best part, um, I actually managed to get the Pi into the case so far. Um, I don't know where you can see it there. It cracked slightly because it isn't exactly the best tools that I'm using. I don't um, have my a workhouse. I'm working in a small room here at the moment um, to get the squares kind of to break out of the case without breaking the case entirely I used a uh, uh, kind of a mini lighter blowtorch thing that I found in a pound shop on holidays one year and I thought very handy and it's refillable as well if you can get something like that um, the next thing I'm going to have to do is take out the input outputs as I've said and kind of mount the case in with some I don't know, blue tack or something inside, mount the, mount the board with some blue tack and that. I have to take out the HDMI port and the USB power port and a slot, small bit out for the SD card slot and uh, we'll see how it works after that. Hopefully the board will power up after me messing around with it so much. So, quick update, I'm now 45 minutes into this, um, it's looking okay, uh, as I said I make no excuses for my bad cutting or crew design or whatever else you're going to put up in comments. Um, I took the edges off the Super 8 case along here, just so there's room for it to get access to the SD slot, I will make a little USB hole now in a minute. And I took the edge off here as well, just for the uh, USBs on this side. Um, I didn't fully take it off because I still want to kind of keep some of the, the pie covered as much as possible to stop anything getting in on top of it, like uh, dust or uh, creepy crawlies or anything that might blow the board. So that's it so far. Um, had a bit of a disaster with this one. Uh, it cracked there on me, came apart, so I had to glue it together. Um, I will clean all these lines off it. Um, took out a little chunk there and took out the HDMI slot here. Again, cut down the lines, use a hacksaw to cut the lines down. And then what I'm using is my little blowtorch lighter, which you've seen, and this lad here just to clip the tops of them off. That's my VMware. And We'll try and get it mounted now. I'm going to use some white blue white tack to hold this in place. A small little bit of it. Uh, it should be okay. And we'll have a look at it in a few minutes. Okay, so very crudely made. Yes, I know. As I said, I make no excuses for my cutting. This is the first prototype, I would call it, of this case. I just want to see how it would actually work out. And maybe give some of the others some others obvious some ideas to look around your house and see is there anything you can use to make a case instead of having to go and buy one or buy parts or whatever. Um it does look a little warped there, it's not pressure on, on the card, it's just because it's um um bent from the heat of the, the blowtorch. Sorry, I'm looking at something else here. So I just held it together with a bit of masking tape and some white blue tack here. White blue tack. White white tack here to hold the board in place. I'm gonna load an SD card image now and I'm gonna plug it in and we'll see how we get on. So just a quick recap, the tools I used at the moment as a number eight drill bit, wood piece. Like that lad there. With a bit of a point on him helps. 
some sort of a lighter, not a standard lighter, but some sort of a, a blowy torch lighter like that, or something that'll give a kind of a blue flame, a blue flame off it. That it's super hot, not just an ordinary lighter, because that just makes black smoke and it just destroys the plastic really. At the end. Of okay, after a couple of seconds there, I just realised that the keyboard wasn't in fully in the back. New beam, you know, we all make mistakes. We have life and we have the pie up on a 48 inch screen. Yeehaw. So there you go. An hour and a half totally to make the the case. Um, sorry if I sound like I'm stuttering. I'm chest infection on me today. Um, so half an hour and a half, roughly that, to make the case. Um, crude as it is, I will be doing another one and I will be putting it up soon. Um, I'm not giving up on just that one a lot on its own, but it's good to see that the pie is still working after being taken in, taken out, stuck to the case, unstuck to the case and everything else and I'm quite happy with the result. So there you go.